Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play of the New York Times crossword. It's Sunday, May the 31st. It's a very wet and rainy day here. It's about 10 to 7 in the morning, and it's an ideal time to try a crossword. No five-minute preamble this time. Let's just go straight into it. Okay, so in the last episode, I missed quite a lot about the theme um, I had trouble understanding what I was looking at, and what I missed was that there was a description on the screen literally through the entire episode that I completely overlooked. Some instructions. Um, I'm not going to do that today. It looks as though there is another one, though, uh, here. Um, let's look at the theme first, then. Uh, when this puzzle is completed, an apt phrase can be found by starting at the top central letter and reading clockwise. I guess that's the top central letter there. So it does it go around the perimeter, maybe? Uh, okay, let's see if there's any other theme clues here. The theme clues are often the long ones. Let's see. Um, it looks as though there might not be any specific theme clues here. An apt phrase, though, that Sounds like there's going to be, well, it's going to be apt to something. All right, let's just, uh, let's just go through. Um, items that, uh, may be labeled, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, uh, people will label pills that way, don't they? Let's try that. Pencil, of course. Uh, all right, just skimming through looking for things that jump out um, as being very solvable clues. When blacksmithing began, probably Iron Age. There, there is no I in team. Lacto ovo vegetarian. National Novel Writing Month, isn't that November? I think it is. Japanese for teacher, maybe sensei. Betrayer of 86 across an elf, and 86 across is just C92 across. Uh, Will Ferrell is the only person I know of in elf. Uh, my tie, maybe bottom row key could be alt. Peak that's known as the Great One. Would that be Mount Everest? What fits? Pro bono, maybe. Fault of the tabloids, gossip. Um, well, that's the day today. Is that going to show up as a New York Times crossword answer? Probably not. Uh, words below an orange on the license plate. For a lot of Florida State, maybe? Uh, Stephen writes, I intend to live forever, so far so good. Um, a joke, but that's not gonna, well, let's just put that in there anyway. Capital City founded during a gold rush. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure Mexico, maybe. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not certain about that. Most deaf. Unit usually seen with the prefix deci decibel. Pop. 
point of writing, uh, probably nib. Okay, uh, school could be teach. We're just, again, here filling in um, things that uh, could be uh, good answers. Many of them won't be, but it will help us maybe, uh, it will help maybe some of the down answers uh, jump out. Joe Biden, I have no idea where Joe Biden comes from. Towering, steep could be. I think it usually means tall rather than sheer, but oh, I, I prefer sheer actually to steep. Letters of obligation, I O U, maybe. Currency which in one denomination features a portrait of Linnaeus. Um, okay, Linnaeus. So Linnaeus was that, um, was the guy who, um, I think, and I'm going out on a limb here and it may turn out to be completely wrong. I think he was a Swede and I think he was involved in the taxonomy of animals and plants, the first sort of categorizations and things. So, um, If he was Swedish, it'd be something like a kroner. I'm assuming they're not on the euro, which they may be, in which case that's completely wrong. Uh, this is exciting, probably ends in ER, something. Uh. Pleasant inflection. I think Everest is wrong here. Just none of those crosses really. Let's see. So perfect orbit could be something like a circle, though. Um, run that could be something like a mock. I mean, mount is probably wrong there if both of those are right. Um, dietary, no, no, no. I have no idea. Temperature units, mm, no idea. Probably ends in S, that one. We may have exceeded our, um, Uh, we, we, we may have put uh, uh, pencil answers in here that are just actually making these harder. Bests could be defeats. I'm going to start thinking in, in, in crossword here. I, I'm, this is so far not a good start. I think I, I like defeats there. Capacious means roomy, I think. Um, Apple desktop is, I think, going to be an iMac. Uh, there's um, nothing uh, else that would really fit that. Which means 59 down was wrong. Um, handled roughly, probably in some ED, maybe. Um, message to one's followers. Oh, a tweet, perhaps. Artifact could be relic. Malt product. Um, 
Wow. Uh, no idea. Factions, teams, um, sects, maybe. Okay, I'm feeling better about the bottom half than the top, I have to say. Captain Kangaroo's network. If I knew this, what what is a Choco, whatever this is, Klondike treat? Not a clue. Not the faintest idea. Crisp bit in a stir fry. Um. Nope. Uh, what would you, oh, so would you define something like this, something crunchy like a water chestnut? Would that be crisp? Crisp is a, a, a strange adjective to use for something in a stir fry. Uh, I, I'm not sure. String after B. Uh, this will be like guitar stuff, won't it? I don't know what strings a guitar has. Seafood soup base. I don't know, I would think of, like a fish stock, but it doesn't fit. Um, okay, privy to, I am almost certain it's going to be in on. Not in the dark, lit. Authorization say so. We're getting somewhere now. Former part of the British Empire, India. Towering, uh, lofty. Yes, lofty. Uh, 10 down, that would be series opener, that would be pilot, as in a television series. Um, attraction that operates under its own steam. LDF. That can't be. That's a terrible start to the to a thing. I'm pretty sure that is pills. I'm pretty sure that is India, and I'm pretty sure that's lofty. So LD what? All right, we'll come back to that. Maybe they are right, but I can't see what that start to that clue could. Uh, I don't see how that can pass. Uh, Shakeups in Incorporations, Reorgs. One of the things, um, uh, one of the rules of crossword clues is if there's abbreviation in the clue, then the answer is also going to be a, an abbrevi uh, abbreviated form of a word or phrase. So, uh, corpse there and reorgs rather than reorganizations. Uh, champagne flute. Seasonal linguine topper, possibly ending in E R A E L. Could that be a morel? That's a mushroom, isn't it? Um, we're even. Uh, expunge could be red. Hmm. Prepare to tie a shoelace, say, uh, Neil. Uh, put another way, restate, re-word, re-word maybe. Thoroughfare could be road. Uh, dog sounds, uh, yips. Collapsed with in caved, caved in.
One of 24 in a glucose molecule. Oh, I don't really know chemistry, but there can't be a lot. Oh, I guess it's just atom. Because an element name there wouldn't make sense. You can't have one of 24, you know, oxygens. Uh, so it's got to be atom. In fact, I'm so certain of that. Let's put it in, in, in pen. Capital city founded during a gold rush is still not very helpful. And it could be a state capital as well, so. Um, Mariana, that's an ocean trench, but um, ocean could fit, but I don't think trench is the second word if the first is ocean. Um, could that be nary a one? What's superior to Lake Superior? I don't know. What's north of Lake Superior or bigger than Lake Superior? Boy, I am getting nothing out of this whole chunk of clues. Hula hoop, is that a lei? Like one of those uh, floral garlands from Hawaii. Um, I think that's a, that's a, a bleak clue for, for that common crossword answer. Dumbfound could be stun. Parts as blinds opens. Fiction could be lie. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, dog sound. If that ends in RF, then it's definitely off. Joe Biden's home with ending in EL must be Dell, Delaware. Uh, that IOU, that is, must be right. So something wrong here, and I think it's probably Mount Least. Series of numbers. Album. Haha. <laughs> Musical numbers, of course. Um, I expected as much. Um, the other thing, so that could be something like I thought so, although that doesn't quite fit, but for the sake of argument. But it can't, because another of these unwritten rules of American crossword cluing is they never use the same the same word um, in the clue and in the answer. So even when it's just I, you won't see it appear uh, in the in the answer. So that's going to be something. That's going to be it or its, uh, and certainly not starting with I. Um, hair piece could be tress. Maybe. Garment for tennis, perhaps, at, at this point. Um, no, it can't be skirt, because that would be a double I. Oh, is there something called a, a skirt, which is like a skirt short? Sh skirt shorts, like, combination. Um... If I just made that up, I'm going to look like an idiot. Iron Age. Confident enough to put that in pen. Is 
66, for example. Well, um, there's root 66, so it can be RTE, but that would mean gossip is not gossip. Naval rank is probably ensign, ENS. Shenanigans, is this going to be uh, Tom, uh, whoops, Tom Foolery? Yeah, that fits nicely. All right, if that wasn't day, what would that be? Um, I don't know, but pleasant inflection could be uh, like a lilt, maybe. Um, this park opened in 1964 might be something land. I don't know. Um, an easy peasy task, I maybe could be a snap. Um, temperature units, could that be Kelvins? I think degrees Kelvin might be what they're actually called. So that could be wrong. An example of itself. Noun. A noun. A, the word noun is an example of itself. Um, pencil, I think. And if that's right, then that word there is wrong. Hockey team with a patriotic name, something Eagles, maybe? Rake's probably going to end in an S. Hmm, okay. Top right corner looking better than anything else. Before we start on the downs, let's check this um, this theme again. When the puzzle is completed, an apt phrase can be found by stop starting at the top central letter. I'm reading clockwise. H, pills are flute, yips. What? That's not a phrase. We're going to have to come back to that. Um, okay. Now the bottom row key thing, I am at this point pretty sure is going to be alt because I don't see anything else on the bottom row on my keyboard that can fit. Captain Kangaroo could have been on PBS maybe or NBC, but let's go for PBS. I've no idea who Captain Kangaroo was or is. Ah, um, right, okay, uh, well, there's McKinley, would fit, but Mount doesn't, so maybe we've got a Rebus situation going on here, um, a Rebus, well, I don't know, it, I think we would have hit it by now already, so that's probably not true, but, um, you do get rebus clues, um, which is where you put a, a more than one letter in a single square. That's usually related to theme. Um, that never happens in British crosswords. It happens fairly often in American ones. Um, the first time I saw it, I was just, I thought it was an astonishing lapse in, um, in, in the normal uh, rules of crosswords, I don't see how I, I didn't see how you could possibly have inferred 
that that was what you were supposed to do. But apparently it's a fairly um, standard convention. I've no idea how we enter rebuses here on the web. Um, so for this, that, that's going to be a, an interesting uh, way, uh, thing we're going to have to discover. Um, but we're only penciling in McKinley there. I'm not certain that it is going to be a rebus. I'm not sure about teach there. The fact that we can't get any of the crosses there. But what would seafood soup base be if, if we just had the K in there? No, no idea. And what is this? L, D, F, A, I, T, blank, F, blank, N. That makes no sense as something that would... No idea. Catcher of some waves. Okay, so even if that is, even if we don't know that letter, A D I blank A N blank E N maybe N blank. With that many letters, it should be fairly obvious what the answer is, but I'm either being stupid or missing something. Because that looks pretty much... I don't see what can fit in there that would make an answer. I might just be wrong. I might just not be able to see it. Okay, fodder for tabloids. Um, no, can't see the answer. Yeah, something is wrong here. Probably land. Uh, fodder for tabloids then will be rumors. Uh, spelt the American spelling, of course. Our condition of sale is probably as is. Bring us to a repair shop. Could be tow in. I think road is right there. I'm not sure about yips. But it's definitely as an S. I don't see what else it could be. I'm just not 100% certain. Oh, Sunshine State. Sunshine st Oh, we have a problem here. State. Again, we have in, in the actual opposite clue to this one, we have a situation where our answer has to fit an extra letter in there. So I'm pretty sure there is going to be a rebus involved now. Um... So is that going to be something like the stay? And now, how do we add a rebus in here? Okay, I'm going to pause the thing there and try and work out how to uh, do a rebus. I'll be right back. All right, I got it. Apparently, you press escape on the square. So that would be something like M-O. Uh, M-O. Thank you. U-N-T. Um... And that would be something like TE. <sighs> okay, I think I know what's going on here now. I think this thing where it says uh, starting at the top central letter and reading clockwise, it's going to be that we read out just the rebus answers. So the top central letter is probably going to be somewhere here, which means teacher is probably wrong. That's probably a six letter word. Choco tap mo seems. Unlikely. Um, 
But I think we, so I think around the perimeter, we are likely going to have a number of these two letter things which chained together, uh, will form an apt phrase. I don't know. We'll see how this pans out. 30 minutes in and, uh, I don't think we're going to break an hour today, but we'll see. Okay, so if this is, uh, this, this now uh, raises the possibility that, um, that this could be Ocean Trench. Because now, uh, T R E N C H, as we now know, um, that there's, uh, there are things going on here. That would mean, though, um, that that one would also be a two letter thing. What, what I'm confused by is it doesn't seem like when we read across, when we read the, we have these, these things that, that work fine in the long clues, these, these two letter rebuses. Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze. No, I'm not this stuck. We have these two letters that are stuck on the edge, but Unless there's a thing called a Choco Tap Mo. And I'm pretty sure there won't be. Um, then uh, that it's got to read some other way on uh, in the other direction. So there's still something about this theme that I don't understand. Like this as well. Uh, S-E-C-H does not make any doesn't not have any meaning as, as, as something that means factions. Um, okay. So what would that be if we had two letters to put at the start of it? Attraction that operates under its own steam. No, no idea. We may have a similar situation going on in this one as well. Completely confused. All right, instead of jumping around, let's try and get this one. I expected as much. It's no something I expect as much would be like it's no surprise it's no it's no uh, that might not be a, a W I suppose not as exciting tamer staple of quiz balls a timer maybe I'm getting nowhere fast with this. Daughter of Hyperion, is that going to be Kos? Or something? No. Grey and ochre, well, they're colours, but... Oh yeah, their colours spelt British. So the answer is spelt British. My goodness. I should have been all over that one and um just missed it. Because of course grey is spelt with an E in the clue, ochre is spelt R E in the clue. Those are not the normal American spellings, so it's looking for colours in uh with a U. Oh, uh attraction that operates under its own steam then is old faithful. I should have got that earlier with the letters we had there. So that is 
going to be OL. So this has to read as pills. Somehow this O gets overlooked in the across clue, but is important in the down. I don't, I don't really understand what's going on here. Uh, awesome, sweet. Uh, catcher of some waves. Got this radio antenna. But what's going on? How does this read as off across? And ray R, R A down. What happens to the R that I don't understand the rules behind this? That's gonna be quads. Ah, uh, that'll be quip. Now the Stephen Wright line. I think that is gonna be noun. Vanished. Gone vanished. Uh, superior to Lake Superior, I guess it's going to be Ont Ontario. Um, distraction of Romanian Idol, Person Smart, Phone. They're f um, falling thick and fast now. Uh, homie, Pass, Enact, as in Pass a Law, Hand Source. Um, no, no idea. Um, still don't know who was an elf. Unlike tweet there, that's pretty certain, I think. Uh, Park Open in 1964 looks as though it's going to be SeaWorld. That was close with land. Just not close enough. Um, some of the else's, maybe? Ends of letters. Sears? That's, that's good. <laughs> that's a little informal, uh, probably, to be the answer. Condemned could be decayed. Does that mean condemned? Not for condemned meant to... Well, I don't know. A condemned building could be decayed, I suppose. But it seems to me they don't exactly mean the same thing. Something you might get a kick out of. Well, karate. So, oh, decried. That's wrong. Okay, decried. Condemned. Uh, you get a kick out of karate. Let's put somebody else's in there just as in pencil. Uh, That's not worsens then, it gets harsher. Um, no, no idea. Pretty certain about Ocean Trench here. Even if I'm not certain about the, what's going on with the theming. Uh, Havana to Palm Beach direction. Well, if it ends in NE, it's either going to be north, northeast, or east, northeast. Let's put north in as a. Well, I don't know. Actually, where's Havana and where's Palm. Uh, Havana's in Cuba, Palm Beach is in Florida. So I guess it's going to be north, northeast, maybe. Do we have any of these double letters on the on the edge on the on the vertical edges, or are they are they all at the top and bottom? M O O L R A. It looks as though we have at least three on the on these edges, but this edge we've almost finished and haven't seen it. I think we're going to need this this 
this elf thing. Um, let's see. Portrayer of 86 across, which is that in elf. I'm going to look this up. So who is in elf and who plays a character that's, well, uh, we have NIC in there, but I don't see a character here that, well, full cast. I don't see um, anyone on the, on the list here with NIC in the middle of the name, which is a little worrying because I'm pretty sure about these, these ones here. Hand source, this, uh, oh, deck. Oh, it'd be Saint Nick, okay. Um, so there's, so there'll be Saint Nick, who plays Saint Nick, and Elf would be Ed Asner. So that's not opened. Okay. So it looks as though the right and left hand edges do not have any of these double letters. And, and we haven't seen one in the middle uh, either. Um, so uh, if the places, are, if, if the uh, letters are mirrored, we have one there, one there, one there, there's gonna be one here at the end of this clue. It might contain a list of post, postal abbreviations. And then there's one there and there. And then there could be one somewhere in there and there. So I guess we ignore the M there, the, the O there, the, what's going on? I, I, I don't really understand this. Blind parts, slats. Blinds have slats. Pretty certain about relic now. Um, bring home the gold. Win it. Let's pencil and win it. Highway number, no idea. Draws blinds, parts, draws. Hmm, okay. So is there a thing called a Choco, uh, Choco Tapo? Taco, it's Taco, okay. So it's not PBS, it's CBS, for God's sake. Choco Taco, right, okay, we should have seen that, bloody idiot. Um, should have seen something with that. So that's gonna be CBS. Uh, we're pretty sure about Mount McKinley being the great one. I like Tamer. Let's pen that one in. Strewn could be cast. Um, okay, dietary, no, no, trans fat. Occurring in March and September, say. 
Serial. No, I don't know. That's going to be something like the NFL today. Little bugger, Nat. Oh, semi-annual. That's not pro bono. I guess redolence is aroma. I thought redolence was like, like the ostentatious, ornate. So much for that. Border could be got on. Uh, that's probably pro rata. Crisp bit in the Stir fry. Still not. I cook stir fries all the time. Still no no idea what it's talking about there. Wise ones, Solons. I've never heard of that word. Let's give it a check. A man who is respected leader in national or international affairs. I guess it's Solons. Sixty-six across. This is this is doing me in here. It gets harsher. Nope. No idea. Um, soaks up probably sops. Uh, pouting expression. Is that going to be a mope? Uh, you can accept no idea. Hematophagous creature. No, I'm going to have to look at that. Um, feeding on blood. Ah, okay. Um, vampire bat. Ending in Arebus, 80. Barely manage could be uh, eek. Bye. Sleep mode. No idea. This can't be right. L. Blank P P P I can't be right. Lap up. It's gonna be lap up. Oh it's a how do you say that word? Mue? A disdainful pouting grimace. Okay. I've seen that on a couple of crosswords before. Rumi. Lap up. Major stockholder rancher. Stock as in livestock. Uh, it was just a joke that's going to be relax, ignoring the T there for some reason. Variety of antelope. Is that something like um, an I? I thought it was something like an ibex. 
Is that even a thing? No. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I, sorry, I guess it's not something like an ibex. There's something like an ibis, and that's a bird, isn't it? I don't know. Sleep mode. What could that mean? Hibernation. There we go. Old White House. Monica, Ike, yep. Uh, that's going to be Oryx or Irex or Oryx. Yeah, Oryx. Oops, X. Um, still don't know about the breakfast cereal maker. Um, equal prefix ISO. Big name in current research. Ohm. Uh, where writing is on the wall, tomb. Still don't know the breakfast cereal maker. I'm probably not going to know that, that, but I think that is going to be stern. Um, rakes. Um, no, no idea. And small change. I don't know either. That's going to be, oops, that's going to be sensei though. The down Easter something, Billy Joel song, not a clue. I think that is going to be sects. Ignoring the H for some reason. Highway number exit. So I guess it's the Down Easter Alexa. Still not that capital city. All right. So bottom left and top center are kicking our asses. But we do know that on this uh, square here, if if these are mirrored, which they will be, that we have a double letter rebus. So this crisp bit in the stir fry uh, clue, in fact, I know what it is. It's going to be B E A N S P R O U T, bean sprout. Return from a store profit. That's pro rata. I don't know the coin to pay for passage across the river. Sticks the um, seafood soup base. It's going to be something fin, like shark fin. No, it can't be shark fin. Unless that's ranchero. Let's try that. Pencil. Oops. That seems like a strange thing to describe as a soup base shark fin. Um, fanatical ra uh, rabbit. A rabid. Sure about Krona now. Okay, so let's let's try decipher this this thing. So uh, when the puzzle is complete, an apt phrase can be found by starting at this top central letter and reading clockwise. S H O L R A. Shall rate at watch. We're missing one here. Mo B. What? That doesn't make <laughs> that doesn't make any sense in the slightest. Let's keep going. We can look at that Kurt Vonnegut clue if we need to. Um, currently don't, but we do have a get out there if we get stuck too much here. An obol, a coin for, uh, to pay for passage across the river sticks. Okay, let's look that up. Um, an ancient Greek coin worth one sixth of a drachma. You learn something new every day.
So this still could be teach because we have an E there. We have an H there. That still could be teach. String after B. I don't. I don't understand what that could, what could fit in three squares for string after B. Let's look at the vonnegut. Wonder. Okay. String after B. Oh, C D E. It's not talking about a guitar string at all. It's talking about a string of letters. For goodness' sake. Further could be and. Um, rare notes twos. It's no wonder I expected as much. Uh, that's going to be morale. Uh, we're okay there, but we, won't be, we don't specifically need to fill them in. Chocolate mint brand with peaks in its logo. Not a clue. Anti revolutionary of 1776. Don't know. Still can't see gets harsh uh, gets harsher th uh, an answer for that there. Patriotic name. No, no idea. Yeah, we're getting our ass kicked in this corner here. I don't know. None of these seem 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 obvious. So if there's anything we can we can look up, we. Uh, we should do that. Let's see. Chocolate mint brand with peaks in its logo. Um, okay, I guess there's something called Andes. That's got uh, peaks in the logo, apparently. Hey, Rex Parker. Andes. Rex Parker's a guy who uh, writes a daily New York Times crossword puzzle blog. So I guess he's written about this clone. Bagel top, how what can fit here for a, what can you possibly have on a bagel that would be N blank V blank? Not a clone. It might contain a list of postal abbreviations. No idea. Anything else we can look up here? There must be something we can look up. Capital city founded during a gold rush is still killing us. Ah. I don't know this breakfast cereal maker. We don't. We don't have anything like something ashy. Small change. No idea. Pretty sure about lie there. 57 minutes and still not really any closer. We're only missing one of these rebus, rebus um, things though. S-H-O-L-R-A. So starting at the top central letter, that's unquestionably that one. I'm reading clockwise. Maybe we're only supposed to read the letters that are left over that don't appear in the cross clues. So that would, that's going to be a T. Why have I got no in there? Um, so this being teach, that'd be a B and that'd be an S. So we would, would have S O R E saw, um, T O uh, H sort, write this down, S O R E T O H. This can't be right. This doesn't make any sense. Um, something there, question mark. Um, uh, that would be an M and then that would be a B. Hmm. 
No, that makes no sense at all. No, it could be. It could be. It's almost sore thumb. But only if this isn't a cross at all. Only if that's just Rancher. If we get rid of that O there, out of S O R E T O H something M B, uh, then we get sore thumb. An apt phrase can be stuck. Um, okay. I'm not sure this is. I'm not sure I'm going to be entirely satisfied with my understanding of uh, what is going to uh, what the, the result of this puzzle. It feels like I'm still missing something, but. I think what this says is sore thumb. Ah, I think I know what's going on here. I think, right, I think I get this. Now it's because we're filling it online, in online we don't, we're not gonna see this, but these, the letters that uh, we're reading out for this apt phrase, would protrude over the edge of the grid of the crossword. If we were filling it on, in on paper, they would literally project over the edge of the crossword grid. So sticking out like a sore thumb literally means they would exceed the perimeter of the, the crossword itself. So the S there would be, would be above the square, the O, here would be outside the square and sore thumb they would literally stick out so that means this one has to end t h u that one has to end in a u it has to be it has to be a rebus that is something u that's why this only says taco this only says teach because the b here the s uh, there are literally not going to be in those squares. They're going to be above them on paper. Of course, they can't make the Java app online uh, work this way, because if they did, it would give away the, enti the entire trick uh, that you're supposed to infer. But that's what's going on with the theme, sticking out like a, like a sore thumb. Okay, I get this. We've just got to fill the fill the thing, man. We have one more theme clue to get, and we have to we have to do the rest. Um, National Novel Writing Month, pretty sure is November, but I'll check. Yes, November. M and N, I guess, are nasals. Sounds that is. Of course. Malt product could be ale, maybe? Uh, hyphenated figure could be social security number. Are they, do they have a hyphen in? Uh, okay, it might contain a list of postal abbreviations. We know this just has to end in a U in the rebus. So it's probably going to be something like me something menu. Um, no. Still don't know what it is, but we're, we're getting closer. Architect with a patriotic name. Still don't know. Ends of letters, the signatures. What, what, what else? What else could that be? Maybe this is not somebody else's. Maybe it's somebody. I don't know. Oh, it might contain a list of postal abbreviations drop down menu. There we go. 
anti-revolutionary, probably a Tory then. Um, still not close on this uh, this patriotic name. Handle roughly poured at. Don't know who uh, June honorees are, unless it's uh, Papa's, unless it's where Father's Day is. Bank to rely on Levy. Ah, uh, patriotic name, but Maple Leafs. Um, Goldbrush, that'd be a state capital. There's a Helena in Montana. That's probably where it is. Uh, ends of letters, serifs. It's a typography clue, and I didn't. Ugh. Uh, gets harsher, Horsons. Like a voice gets harsher. Yes. Right, rakes. Um, okay, so what, so rakes could be, um, the money that a casino takes. Um, it could be the thing you do in a garden. It could be a person can be a rake. Um, None of these help. Because I don't know this breakfast cereal maker. All right, let's see. Category breakfast cereal companies. Help me out, Wikipedia. It ends in ashy. And I don't see anything here that ends in ashy. For goodness sake. Well, thanks for absolutely nothing, Wikipedia. And there's no ashy on that page either. Point of writing, nib, definitely. Big name in current research, ohm, definitely. ISO, definitely. Sunshine state, definitely. So there's an, what's, what's, ugh, I don't know. Small change. Tweak, tweak. Cashy, and we're wrong somewhere, great. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. All right, so Horsons, yes. Decried, yes. Helena, has to be. Poured at, yes. June honorees, poppers, has to be. SSN, Tory, Bagel Topper, Nova, I, I, that I don't understand, we might be wrong. Um. Strewn, cast, yes. Staple of quiz balls is a timer. Perfect orbit is a circle and run a mock. Ah, okay. So maybe what we're supposed to do here on these edge clues is not include the rebus. So if we just try and maybe that's what we need to do to, uh, to uh, persuade the thing to, uh, to let us have the, uh, Let's complete the thing. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got there, and with only uh, a limited amount of acute pain. Uh, 107, about the same time as last week there. And yes, there we go. On the online puzzle now, those edge clues are revealed. So uh, this uh, saves me uh, putting graphics in afterwards, fortunately. Um, an apt phrase can be found by starting at the top central letter and reading clockwise, S-O-R-E-T-H-U-M-B, sore thumb. And you can see this is what I meant when uh, I meant uh, the ends of the clues projecting over the edge of the thing. Well, that's it for today's New York Times crossword. Thanks for watching, and I wish you a very happy Sunday.